Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a pleasant day in the Lord. We have just begun week number 10. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Tomorrow I want you to read Numbers 27 through 30. Now on Sundays, we do catch-up day, which is basically... Reflecting back on what you read, catching up on some chapters that you need, might need to get caught up on, and maybe writing out a verse that kind of stood out in your mind. Okay, let's get to today's stuff. We have got a lot to cover and an announcement of a giveaway. That's always fun, right? Oh, yes. Okay, let's start. Deuteronomy 30 verse 4 says, But the word is very near you in your mouth and in your heart that you may do it. The word is very near you in your mouth and in your heart that you may do it. It's also in our hearing, our listening. Yes. In our mind, thinking. I mm, love it. Love the Lord, obey his voice, and cling to him like saran wrap. Amen. All right, I have some Bible ABCs for you today. I thought it was quite good, so I'm going to read that to you. A is for always God's word has been true. It was and still is and shall always continue. B is the blood is the price Jesus paid to redeem you from death, from hell, and the grave. C is the cross. Jesus went there for you, and now he's alive so that you can be too. D is the devil who does all that's bad. If you listen to him, your life will be sad. E is for everything God made in six days. Then he took off a day just to rest and to play. F is for faith. God likes this the most, and he'll bless you who have it from your head to your toes. G is for the giant-sized love of the Lord that knocks oh so softly at heart's door. H is for hearing, and then you must do whatever the Bible has instructed you to do. I, that is me. He loved me this much. And when I talk to him, my heart gets touched. J is for Jesus, believe it or not. The good that he's done can never be stopped. K is for kindness. When you do it for others, it comes back to you through the help of a brother. L is the love in the shape of a dove. That God sent down to Jesus from heaven above. M is the mouth. Your words are all seeds. So be careful when speaking. You don't want to grow weeds. N is the name Jesus. That's above all the rest. To whom all knees shall bow and all tongues shall confess. O is obey. It's your choice. It's God's way. Because if you trust him, you'll do it each day. P is for praying. When you talk to your friend, then you know what you need. God is happy to send. Q is for quiet. When you listen, don't talk, and then God will tell you how you should walk. R is for rest that you feel when you know all of God's promises really are so. so. S is for sad people who need someone to care and so Jesus sent you to love them and share. T is for three. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit inside you equals three is one. N is undo everything Satan has done by loving each other, says Jesus the Son. V is the victory you can have every day when you stop to ask Jesus, is this the right way? W is wise when you're always prepared with the armor of God. Put it on and wear. 
X is for x-ray. God has special eyes that can look in your heart and see truths or lies. Y is for yes. God, I'll do what you say, and then God will help you because you obey. Z is for zeal, an explosion of fun that happens when you meet the sun. Amen. I just enjoyed the Bible ABC so much. When I found it, I went, oh, I have to share this. All right, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed that devotion on the Bible ABCs. And remember, the word is very near you in your mouth, in your heart, that you may do it. Amen. All right. Giveaway. Oh, I love giveaways. Okay, now we have a butterfly giveaway coming up. We're going to draw a winner on 4-17, April 17th. There will be two winners. They will receive the choice of two butterflies, and I have a dishcloth for each one. So, yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. I put that in the drop-down box below for you, so you can go back to that video, and you um, can get in on that giveaway. Now, on these giveaways, you must be 18 years old to enter. They are open to the USA only. I'm sorry, shipping is so high. And... Uh, I put everything regarding the rules. You must be a subscriber to my channel. Please hit that like button, uh, that notification bell, so you'll be notified if you're a winner. And now, today starts a birthday giveaway. As you know, I mentioned before, my birthday is on May 15th, and it will end on May, four on May 14th. I will draw a winner on my birthday. So yeah, so I'm gonna give everybody a good chance to get in on this birthday giveaway. You will receive shawl in a ball, and this colorway is Peaceful Earth. And you will receive a second one. Now there are, trying to find the yardage real quick, Peaceful Earth, Okay, 481 yards in each one. So there's plenty here to make a nice little shawl or a scarf. And, da, 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 here you go, Dumbo. I got them done. And this will be included on the giveaway too. I just put a little shell border on it. I did six in each corner, and then I did a uh, two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. That, that's a um, double V stitch. And um, I thought it turned out pretty doggone cute. Look at his ears. So this and these. Now, in the comment box below, I want you to... Let me know what your favorite color is. That's easy, right? All right. You must make the comment below to be able to get in on the giveaway and be subscribed to my channel. So I hope you like what's in my birthday giveaway. And as always, on my giveaways, I also include a little secret surprise. All right, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's kind of overcast and chilly today. We're going to have to dress a little bit warmer than yesterday. But we can do it. I just love getting outside on the trail. And uh, Ron and I made a commitment um, that we would walk all through the winter. Uh, and we did. We walked every day through the winter. And it was cold, but, you know, we dressed appropriately and it wasn't quite so bad. All right, everyone, I'm going to let you go now. Remember our memory verse, I would have lost heart if I had not believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms 27, 13 through 14. Now, tomorrow, we're going to be starting the 23rd Psalm. So, you may want to start studying that. Remember, just write it. Write out 
a little bit of the verse um, to begin with and just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it like five times a day. Write it out five times a day. And before you know it, you also will be putting these scriptures to memory. All right, everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I love each and every one of you. And Lord willing, I will see you tomorrow on God Crochet and Chatter. Bye, everyone.